Well, happy Wednesday. Thur Thursday. 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 Happy Thursday, everybody. This is the Ask a Painter Live show. I'm Nick Slavic. I'm the host of Ask a Painter Live. I'm also the proprietor of the Nick Slavic Painting and Restoration Company. This show is a product of my 29 years in the trades where I bring up topics and ask, ask and answer any questions that you guys might have. Um, so today's special guest, Ronnie Santos, Ronnie Carlos. I've heard him called, been called many, many things. Uh, before we jump into Ronnie's live story, I should say that uh, a lot of this is brought to you by the PCA, the Painting Contractors Association. Uh, back in the United States, where I am not right now, um, it is an organization of like-minded individuals that are legitimately trying to tra uh, change the trades. And uh, we're in Brazil right now. Uh, for the last five or six years, I've been connected with the Brasileiros down here, and they are trying to do the same thing that we are. Only, interestingly enough, uh, it feels like there are tons more than them, uh, and they are way more connected than us. So, lest you think that the Americans lead the way in this sort of thing, the Brazilians, uh, when I come down here, I, I feel like they're doing the exact same thing we are. <laughs> and it's really cool to see. People naturally will gravitate towards improving other people's lives. Uh, they're starting to congregate in groups. They're starting to come up with standards. They're starting to circle around a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I feel like we may be a half step ahead of them in the standard creation and the content creation, but they're not far behind us and they're an aggressive group. So uh, it is not a competition. Uh, it'd be best <laughs> if we work together. And uh, honestly, you know, we think about improving the lives of North American painters. Uh, we dropped the name America because we wanted to be Canada, Mexico, other things. Uh, really, uh, we dropped the American name so we can collaborate with people worldwide. And I feel that uh, probably in the world, there's no better partner than Brazil, based on the people I meet. So uh, I think it's going to be an interesting thing. So we are not going to waste any time here. This is my last day of the trip. We're going to give a quick synopsis of what we're doing. Uh, after this, I'm headed to Sao Paulo to the airport, but we have to take time for Ronnie. Uh, you're, none of this would happen without Ronnie. Uh, <laughs> The first time he was in the United States ever was in Savannah, Georgia for a PCA event. <laughs> so it's a really cool thing. And he got a, he got a whirlwind experience there. And uh, let's see, a week, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, you came to Minnesota. Uh, and then you spent time with me and my family and my business and got an inside look there. And then uh, we've spent almost the last two weeks here in Brazil. Uh, breakneck speed, crazy aggressive schedule. It was fun. So. Tell me if I'm saying anything wrong. Uh, six states, seven days. Six states, seven days. Brazil's a monster country. And, oh, uh, <laughs> it's a continental size country, definitely. And the, one of the first, to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here, a flight from Minnesota to Florida, which is all the way across the United States, is about two hours and 45 minutes, three hours. <laughs> One of the flights of the 11 or so we took, we took, we've taken like 11 flights since we've been here, was over three so hours, right? So just going from a part of Brazil to another part of Brazil. So that kind of lets you know that this is not, this is not even the state of Texas. This is the state of Minnesota where you can drive from here to there. You physically need to get around here. And we visited states all over the place. So yes. you, you name them, you remember them, if you can. <laughs> yes, I can. Sao Paulo, Fortaleza, São Paulo, uh, we call Sudeast, the middle, Midlands, uh, Fortaleza, Northwest, Recife, Northwest, uh, Curitiba, South, Porto Alegre, South, Santa Catarina, South. And then we return it back to the Midlands, where we are right now. Yeah, and it was, it was a pretty, pretty crazy breakneck schedule. Uh, a lot of the times we were up somewhere between over under is four or five in the morning and we would get back to our hotel room about midnight it usually included at least one flight <laughs> checking into a hotel every day dragging your luggage around uh it was thrilling honestly and and the, the basic pattern of our first week here you know the, the monday through uh saturday was visit two to three sherwin williams stores talk to the managers see what everything uh, see what sherwin williams is about marketing in involved behind the scenes and uh, all this, the heart of the system, yeah. Trying to get as much data as possible. So I, I, I feel like they were trying to, a lot of these events didn't have public invited. It was more like introduce Nick, give him a whole bunch of data on what it's like here, talk to the managers, everything else. But then it usually concluded in the evening. Then there's the big lecture, Ronnie's story, my story, Giuliano Giuliano's story, story. Yes. and then painting demos, and then a thousand hugs. Yes. Thousand yes. hugs and pictures, and then <laughs> warm hugs. Yeah, warm Brazilian hugs. It's it's amazing, especially coming. Uh, it, it's kind of been the running joke through this whole thing that, you know, I'm a I'm a Minnesota guy, 
and uh, we don't even look people in the eye. And when, <laughs> when, we're, in, when we're in Brazil, we got to take seven pictures. I'm going to hug you in four ways you've never experienced before. And it's it's the this, it's the pat, it's the it's the nine goodbyes. The one thing that, that we did have in common is something we call the Minnesota goodbye, which is when you decide to leave somebody's house, it takes about two hours to leave the house because you say it's goodbye incredible. nine times. It's incredible. Brazilians and Minnesotans have that in common. We, we will go for two hours basically just goodbying each other all the way out <laughs> to the car like that. So it was awesome. And then it usually concluded with us going out to a dinner, spending a lot of time talking and things like that. And that's... That was what I have to that's what that's what creates a four in the morning. You know, up at four in the morning, go to the airport, flight, land, three <laughs> Sherwin Williams store visits, lunch, lecture, demos, big dinner, midnight. <laughs> yes, this is incredible. First thing, yeah. I would like to introduce my city. Please just do a little bit. Welcome to Bertioga. This is our little town, full of fishing boats, village people, peaceful. A lot of history behind this. We are beside in a fort of about 500 years of age, and we are here doing this historical place in the Aska Pena Show. An honor, remarkable moment. It's pretty awesome. Like, uh, I get a really good uh, education about Brazil when you start in Sao Paulo, and it's the fifth or sixth largest sort of you know country in the world, and. Uh, or excuse me, yeah, the, the fifth or sixth largest city in the world. And it's just amazing to be in that big of a mass of humanity. <laughs> it is unlike anything I've ever experienced before. And then you gradually, we worked our way around to the other states, uh, eventually going Santa Catarina, where Giuliano lives, and, and you could start like feeling the more rural kind of thing. And then you get to Bertuoga, and it's like... You, I that Nick could live my life uh, in the most genuine possible way that for him to feel that he's not alone in his journey. <laughs> All right, everybody, so foreign country, crazy <laughs> cell phone stuff. My internet gets throttled and it got throttled during the last show, so we are here for part two. Uh, but good break because we, we just started off on Ronnie's life story. And I was saying that uh, starting on Ronnie's professional life, I really felt the importance of a place we were last night, which was kind of his, and, and you correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. but. Uh, uh, a, a mentor, a guy who inspired Ronnie, um, uh, kind of first professional boss. And, and my impression was this guy is a artist, he's a decorative artist, but he's insanely productive. And I only know one other person like this in my entire life, but those people are very rare. They're happy, um, they are an artist, but most artists are the sort of unproductive starving where they, everything they do is half done. Completely and they move agree. on to say, every little shiny thing distracts them and they go there. He is prodigious. <laughs> he makes a lot of stuff. A world, a world apartment. World apartment. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. In his house, there's not a square inch of stuff that hasn't been covered by a decorative finish, something homemade, something that's him, which is really cool to see. Uh, talking about himself, uh, I think if I'm not wrong, no, I'm not absolutely wrong. After I have these tiny little jobs, uh, delivering pizza and stuff, and um, he might my, my I think my aunt told me listen I know someone who is in, who is in need of a person of assistant person oh, who who nice. grieves, who helps him working I was I said it's fine yes myself I was 15 to 16 years of age and I remember I reached there by my little bicycle rusty bicycle how old and, uh, 15 to 16 oh, man. 15 yeah. to 16 Former years age. of age <laughs> yes yes definitely the way it is uh, yes, and I say that I have 20 years experience, it should be a little bit more, 20 to 21 right now. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember, say, what? Good, what's your name? I said, Ronnie. I said, listen, have a seat. The job is like that, like that. And his, his wife, uh, who, okay, his, uh, his wife at that time, was painting a lot of things with wow. the colors and everything, the fishes, <coughs> like resin fishes. And yeah. there was this bunch of, of, of fishes. I wanted to show you yesterday, but there was no uh, stairs for up on the oh, other side. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and he brought me a, a bunch of these cement fishes. <coughs> and, and those are decorative art pieces. Decorate that he art yep. fishes. And he produced the fishes and decorated the fishes to hang on all these nets and all this kind of stuff. Man, he's a, he's a man ages ahead of our life of oh, humans sure. it's he's crazy <laughs> and he said listen you need to paint you need to sand clean and paint these fishes and that was the first sensation i think I man greatest part of my life i owe for the for the behavior of that mm, man yeah. i think you you can, you can find similarities of myself ah, all this stuff yeah, from yeah. him absolutely you yeah. see how how can people inspired in a even subjective way the way i walk i remember that i walk like him 
It's oh, crazy. So he really left an impression on you. Man, it's uh, I don't know how to explain. I didn't want to do this. I didn't mean to be that way. Yeah. I just got so much inspiration of, from himself. I I save pieces of wood because I saw him doing this. Yeah. And oh yeah, he's a guy who doesn't throw anything away. He's a very resourceful person. Wow. His whole house is full of that. Full which of is that. really cool. Yeah. And he saves every single thing and he makes piece of art. He improves it. Use yeah. useful things. Everything that you see is workable. There's a meaning in his house. And he gave me those opportunities. Construction and building sites experience I had, we knocked down the house, the wooden mm. house that we have over there. And decorative stuff first, remember the texture on oh, those yeah. muds uh, from mock or from this stuff, from yeah. tilings. And I, I've learned from him. This is very special stuff that we have yeah. making this stuff together. Well, it helps that he's got a good personality too. I mean, if, if, he, was, if he was the typical old tradesman that we run into, old, grumpy, sad, maybe chemical dependency <laughs> I, I doubt you'd probably be here today but Man, it turns I can, out he's a good guy i can even show you some he was used to have uh, cigarettes and he was used to let's do this stuff together ronnie let's grab this thing <laughs> ronnie you're a good guy i know and he was to grab the cigarettes this one. so he was a smoker yeah, huh? a long time and he created four years ago oh man and that wasn't him. making fun of him because one time we were, we, oh yeah <laughs> we were knocking down the the building and he was with the thing <laughs> <laughs> he threw the cigarette away and I went to laugh far away from him otherwise he would knock me <laughs> that's hilarious but that's funny thing because I've learned so many things from this guy and Nick I didn't have a, uh, a boss we had business I had to be productive yeah. Yeah. and he's my friend and oh, he said Ronnie I love you guy you know the relationship that we have built you know the apartment oh yeah, yeah. that's the relationship I've been trying to build my entire life yeah and that's my DNA in the profession. Yeah, amazing meal last night. I mean, he grilled a bunch of shrimp. He grilled a bunch of fish, some of the best fish I've ever had. He taught me a lot about the, the cooking methods here, which are much simpler, much more straightforward, and better than a lot of the ones that I was Whoa. taught in the, United, in the United States. It feels like we toil a lot. We do a lot of things. We believe a lot of things to be true about this and that. And he's like, yeah. We don't even scale the fish. You put it here. There's a wood fire right there. It's just under it. It's done. You put some simple things. Yeah. It's so a special. Man. I, I mention that because I connect through food. I connect through people. I connect through experience. I connect through houses. I connect through all this stuff. And in him, he took his artist mind and applied it to teaching you, to food, to his house, to everything that we did. And I like to see that because that is somebody who truly is that. They're not fake in any way. It's not fake in any way. And yeah. if you could have... 24 more hours with that guy, he would bring you to the most insane building project that yeah. he's ever done. And you would see his product and production. Man, he's great. He turns, he was used to turn when I was there. I wasn't able to do this 48 hours, Nick, straight for wow. work to deliver a task, being an artist. He's a kind of person that you, man, yeah. That's amazing. as you have done productive work, he's a kind of person who have done these things in an incredible way. And I've learned from him a lot of stuff. Lucky so, guy. So. You obviously don't work for him now. What? Where did you go after Denny? Yeah, I have I have experienced uh, Alemão. Remember, I said Alemão. Yeah. Alemão is a guy who paid me six hundred reais. Oh, was another yeah. one. Yep. And after that was well, uh, or between, or I don't remember. I think right before uh, another person who was was to be paid twenty reais a day. Yeah. Uh, paying my ticket to buy bus and bringing my food. And we should say 20 hey eyes that the exchange rate now is one to five, one US four, dollar. Four, to U, five. four US dollars. Yeah. Four US dollars. So it's it's a pretty crazy. I mean, it was obviously different then, but, yeah, it, but it, it just gives you a. a, a even at that age, it would be four to four thousand four four hey eyes a day. Four 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 dollars. Four, four, four US dollars a day yeah, would be <laughs> wouldn't be a great deal. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not a great deal for anybody. So. But remember, since at that time, it's clear in my face. My sister told you, witness, I didn't pay her to tell you this. I have a crazy memory in it. Yeah. And I, have, I remember the steps I took in almost every single thing mm -hmm. I did in my life. And I don't know how much money, but I had the grit. I said, oh, there's yeah. something from this. Yeah. And I just believe that this could bring me something different. And every, every tiny little piece of this life story brought me to this reality, brought me to Senai, and brought me to sell and witness my life story with these people who believe it on me. You saw my yeah. students. People, business oh, people yeah. yep. in in Tintas Palmares. Mm -hmm. I just they just heard that I was yeah. I was I was supposed to be there. I brought them hope. I brought them profession, and I brought them a, a life story that they believed on me. Yeah. This is very special. So th when when people know you, the things they know of you are technical instructor of painting at Sinai, and now world skills coach. How did you make the jump to Sinai right? from from practicing the trade to being an instructor and an expert in it? 
thank God we have the opportunity to go in my in my in myself in my seat Senai yeah that you saw me there ah uh, man I got into a student as a student oh, and so you went there as a student as a student oh, yeah remember yeah. I told you I passed in the front of the beach and I saw Senai I didn't even know what was that about. And is that the Virtuogo one? That Virtuogo we one, oh, yes. Yeah. Eleven years uh, lasting. So, so this is this one. is a crazy campus Man. that we just toured. It's it's got this tiny little cool <laughs> church. And I mean, from from everybody who watches my show, you understand. It's like a Spanish revival church, something you'd find in old Mexico. Right on the beach, fishermen boats lined up, mountains, rainforest, and there's a school. And you walk by and. Like, and I, I, I saw that place, I didn't even say Nai, what a crazy name, I have no idea. And I got into, and then, oh, we, we have courses, training for, for construction and building, because construction and building, most of the people here work on this circumstance. Oh, yeah. As you see now, for example, in Riviera, people bicycle and stuff, um, they go by bicycle and they do maintenance from some people who built all those buildings oh, before. Yeah, yeah, most yeah. of them from Northwest, mm -hmm. most of them from Northwest. Like, and I went crazy. Because I had, I was working in the profession as painter, or supportive, or assistant, or whatever it is, and I, I got a chance to learn something from people who really knew. His name is Rogério dos Santos. He will be never forgotten. Man. Yeah. And I went as a student. Years later, I became an instructor. First training I had, it was I learned how to teach oh, in sure. the simplest yeah. way, uh, with techniques and didáticas de ensino which is um, uh, learning and teaching education techniques. Oh, sure. Basically, yep. like 40 hours training, not becoming a university degree. It's just for you to understand the psychology and the situation involved. I started in the very bottom. They trained me in the best possible way. Dinarchi, that gold man yeah. that came, he gave me the very first opportunity and he said, Ronnie, you're having this opportunity, but remember, every time that you have the possibility to do something special to people, do it. And I took that mission. And Senai, and Tintas Palmares Bertioga was my gift and my responsibility to bring this to people. Mm. And so how long were you, and, and did you do the, the painting instruction? Were you construction or painting instruction or construction instruction? Or? Painting, painting instruction. Okay. I had the trade, I had all the abilities, but I didn't know how to teach. Oh, yeah. And they taught me how to use all those skills that I already had uh. towards the people's um, Benefit. So that beautiful campus right on the ocean, how yeah. long were you there instructing? Man, it, everything started in the end of 2004 and I left, I left uh, 2016, 2017, oh, man, 2017, man, a lot of years. Man, a lot of years. Yeah. As an instructor, as a, as a student, half of this time I worked as a, cost, a contract basis I didn't have any benefits. Oh, sure. You pay me 40 hours, I do the training 40 hours and nothing uh, else. No holidays, yeah. nothing. In 2012, I won't cry. <laughs> 2012, I got I got accepted as a professional from the industry. Wow. December 2000, and I told that story when I was crying a lot in Palmares. Yep. 2012 was my first time ever, Nick, that I had paid holidays in my entire life. Huh. And that's why I said when I was talking to my mother, she worked for 45 years without a break. She didn't have paid holidays. She didn't have any benefits from yeah. government. She just had the salary to rise our family. That's why it was so huh. special that moment to me. Yeah. I had two registrations in what we call a Brazilian workers card. Yeah. The first one was 100, 144 reais plus 100 a month to savings. With 244, yeah. 40, 10, around 40, 40, 40 US dollars a month. Yep. And then I had the, the payment uh, Senai, which close to 2,000. Huh. It, it was 10 times that I had at that time. And then from now on, I'm here working the UAE so and stuff. Yeah. So it's interesting that in, in Sinai, and, and I kind of intersected you, you were not at Virtuolga. By the time we did our first Brazilian trip three years ago, which interestingly enough, the lecture that we did at Lensoi Paulista, which was the place you were um, yes, teaching, located, yeah. and that, the announcement for that popped up in my feed today. So really? three years ago <laughs> today, <laughs> wow. we were in Lensoi Paulista.
sorry, uh, but we went to visit um, and all the kids look super young. Yeah, oh yeah, and, the last one today, right? Yeah, yeah. and, and, and uh, I, I asked, like, how old are these kids? And they're like, well, they're 15, 16, 17. They, they come half days from high school to these campuses. You're already starting to get them involved with the technical trade in high school, which is amazing. We have, we have a class here and there, but we don't send you to a technical institute to learn for half days. It's very special. It's very special. Yeah, throughout this experience in Sinai, Sinai definitely, I think, we were, you were in headquarters. The man in the top, the yeah, top of the pyramid. He's not even in the pyramid. This people is in the this top. This is the administration. Of yes, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Hidden, the, the hidden gem. <laughs> and um, the opportunities that Sinai gave me as a professional, as a person, and yeah. as a human, I definitely believe that even my experience abroad and all this kind of stuff wouldn't have prepared me for this. Yeah, and that's why it's so special. France, man, France, <laughs> Finland, uh, England. Russia, UAE right now, Ireland. US two times, Ireland two times. <laughs> ah, sometimes I ask, hey, do I deserve all of this? And uh, for many, for long, for many times, I blame myself not being deservable for this. Sure. But at the same time, now I realize that I was, I was the chosen one by God to have this role and make yeah. this thing happen. You knew my story. You went yeah. to my place today. You see the simplest, sim simplest simplicity of the things. Yeah. And making this thing happen, there is no logic. There is just a mission that was given to Ronnie and make this thing happen. Well, it's a really interesting thing because you know you think of like a technical school as like, hey, there's electronics and there's construction and there's plumbing and computers, and that's fine. Nobody talked about that stuff when I was at Lensway Police Stuff or anywhere we've been here now. <laughs> yes. It's all about human stuff, which I was really happy to hear because that's that's the only thing I believe in is human development and the technical things. If you if you if you spend It, it forms some commonality because exactly. otherwise you're just Ronnie the instructor but your life story connects and that's why we start almost everything that's why I start master's classes with a brief life story because like oh yeah you work for your dad too huh you know, yes. it's one of those things this so. is incredible this is really incredible yeah. so now Sinai Sinai is awesome it's beautiful it's wonderful <laughs> uh, everybody knows you as the world class instructor but you're not instructing in that way anymore with Sinai you are living in a foreign country doing something else what is that country and what is that thing? Yeah, it's interesting because I have started my selection process. I'm watching the birds because yeah. there's birds who wants to fire us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before you come into Brazil and before we have in our first conversation yeah. for you to come to Brazil, I started having my conversation with these people from uh, GCC, uh, Gulf. Huh? And I had my first interview and I wasn't accepted. I said, no. You're something. talking about somebody in Abu Dhabi in the Middle East. A friend yeah. of a friend. Yep. And I gave my CV to him. And I, I told you, since I came back from Ireland, I knew that in Brazil there was something that uh, wasn't fitting on me because of all the situation that I struggled. Yeah. And I decided myself, I said, I want to leave the country again. I want to leave my story and I, I want to live in a peaceful place. Okay. Uh, based on that situation, uh, I tried to seek for different places after uh, Ireland, Europe experience. And I found this friend, he got me my CV and said, Ronnie, by any chance, if they ask about painting and decorating, you're going to be the one that I will indicate. Oh, nice. And you have to go through. It's up to you, your profession. Uh, personal, professional stuff. My first time, interview was a, dis a disgrace. Oh, no. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> I, I, my boss nowadays, we are such a great friends and professional, but first moment was a heat. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yes. It wasn't a great match right away. But you know what happened? I told him, it's a list I want to come to your country to visit schools, share my life story, 
and try people change people's lives. At that moment, it wasn't a great idea. Interesting. <laughs> yes, because it was competition. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep. Nowadays, we are working to bring this thing to this point. Yeah, so, so it's, it's interesting. So you are living in, you, I mean, you, can, you can correct me, United Arab Emirates, yes. Abu Dhabi, and you are the coach, instructor of a world skills team. Yes. Um, a week time after you left Brazil in 2018, yeah. I got another call. Yeah. Inviting me for a second interview. Oh, interesting. And I thought it was a threat or like oh, a scam, yeah. or scam or something. I said, okay. I said, okay, and I left. A week after, I said, listen, we send you an email. We're waiting for the interview. Huh. Huh. This is serious. Okay. And I grabbed my email. We got this schedule. Yeah. I make. The interview was completely technical. All skills. I got straight for 100%. All great. <laughs> huh. And then, after that situation, I started having a conversation with you. You told me you invited me to come to the US as a listen. I have a special project coming up. Yeah, yeah. And I finished myself in the United Arab Emirates. I work for the government right now in the edu Ministry of Education institution, like the, the same um, organization. Yeah, and I'm responsible. Federal department. Yes, yeah. and I'm, I'm responsible for painting and decorating, training, and the special project, which is the World Skills Competition, where we train young talents throughout some some technical schools and to get them prepared for world world class world skills competition against the okay yeah. all right so quickly uh for us americans we have no idea what world skills is it's the it, when i call it the olympics of the trades is yes. that correct okay. absolutely yeah. Yeah, the same thing so they take a bunch of okay um yeah uh, world skills basically it starts by four different levels okay there's four different levels first level regional there is Bert Yoga, okay, into Bert Yoga, into Bert Yoga. We have uh, schools, regional schools. You find the best young talents from these schools. Yeah. You get one good. This one good, we go to the uh, national, okay, and yeah, national yes, competition. This one, we represent Sao Paulo. And then we go for the national competition against all these states. Let's oh, say nice. you have a great painter in every state of the uh, United States. Let's say 50 competitors. Yeah. From this, they will go to national competition. From this national competition, they would make two good, two best ones. These two best ones would be training together. That's the strategy meeting. Yeah. Meaning, only one can be, become a problem. It can just quit the whole energy course, yeah. And this this person, or between these two, they would train together to rise the level of insane skills, speed, yeah. best equipment. Uh, you said procedures. We. If we walk through here and go back, that's four seconds. That's a step. Yeah, and we make, yeah. This is ridiculous. Well, is that, at that level, everything has to be so precise, it has to be. right? It's yeah. like, I'm here, okay, you're here, and I put my back, and I grab a tool, and he knows or she knows yeah. which kind of, which draw she's grabbing the tool. That's awesome. It's crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is in the highest standard. So, huh? so how, how long have you been in the UAE doing this right now? Two point two and a half years. Okay. Yeah. And so, I mean, I'm not going to ask yes, you yes. to tell me how long, but where in this competition are we right now? Is it a training cycle? Is it a competition Final cycle? line. Final line. By beginning of this, this year, and we have eight mo 10 months, which is pretty tight sure. schedule compared to competitors to be ready. Usually they train four years. Yeah. Train four wow. years together. From, huh. from, from four levels of competition. Let's be wow. straightforward. Man. They become war machines. Then. In Europe countries, once they finish, they get straight forward hired, straight forward hired by Jotun Paint, Souvenir, or Benjamin Moore. These are top level professionals. Oh, of course, they should <laughs> finest vetted. gold yeah. leaves diamonds, yeah. ready to go. Everybody wants them. That's a, well, that's of the course way they would. Yeah, yeah it's that's like, they're Olympic athletes. Yeah. <laughs> but they, they will not do Olympics anymore, but they are high profile. Oh, absolutely, uh, men. They, sometimes they have two, three cheaters, teachers in one little person. This is crazy. Teachers used to grab 30, 40 students. Imagine how much energy in yeah. one, one person. We talk about psychologists, we talk about physics, we talk about uh, your body interaction, your body movements, how much you and your routine, what you eat. It's a, a pure athlete. Yeah. It's a pure athlete. That's what it takes to it's win, crazy right? stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and our sorry, our profession is also based on results. If you don't bring results, <laughs> I mean, listen, you could argue every job is like that. It's but very maybe yours is a little it's higher. A higher yeah. yes. and you, you, told, you saw me at yeah, 13, 14 hours. Uh, straightforward, yeah. yeah. Easy life. <laughs> so, what, what is the, I mean, where, 
the next big competition. What you mentioned something about China. Is that the next thing for you guys? Is that yes. the big one? But between this, I have to make sure that I bring my competitor to competitions abroad. Oh. She has to go to the heat. Bird. Oh yeah, you can't just send him to the No, 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 no. She, gotta, I told yeah. you when my last competitor had some issues like others, when 24 Festo machines started turning on together. Yeah. If you, if your that's brain if your brain is not prepared, you have a big trouble. Yeah. Oh, listen, that's just about I, I think you could extend that to any competition like that. It's practicing it alone in the quiet is one thing. And when, when the heat is on, when the clock's ticking and judges are watching, that's a whole other thing. And our main goal, <laughs> our main goal for these competitors is where they start challenging us, the experts. Mm. They rise a level. Imagine Neymar. You know, I know you don't know Neymar, but Neymar is a crazy football player. Yeah. And we have the coach. The coach will never play as him, but he knows how to guide him. And that's that's our goal, Nick. We have a level that the competitor will reach us and go against us. Not oh, against, but yeah, yeah. much lo much level and let's say performance yeah, from yeah. us. Not the skills or whatever, but the, the, their level is so high. And then the, we, we, call it, we call it airplane mode, which is they have the level, such a level of autonomy that we just cut the boundaries. It is yeah, almost yeah, round yeah. ready to be a yeah. bullet to go. That's, that's, awesome. the, that's the thing. That's going to be very rewarding as an the next, to see that. Next, com next competition, next World Skills competition is going to be in Shanghai, China, 2022, October 24, 27. I would love to have you there for you to get this crazy stuff. I would love to be there. And we have our national competition, which is going to happen between March and May. That I, I, I really want to have you as a friend there supporting me and having I, this great opportunity. I would, I would love to support you. <laughs> I would love to be at World Skills. That's I would awesome. like to even just see a World Skills yes, thing because yes. I feel like the rest of the world knows about this. Yes. And the Americans, you've sent me some things about there's American auto body people that compete yes. in auto body stuff. Heavy uh, make, heavy vehicle maintenance am, and all of that. I am 100% unable to find a painting and decorating American in there. Not to say that it doesn't exist because yes, I don't know yes. everything. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I don't know. So it would be great to go there and see if there's even an American team. And like, who are you people? Where were you? Why are we not going to, you know, man, one of those yes. things. So. And you have, man, you guys have so much structure and you have people and you have people. The most difficult challenge for us, even wherever I am, Brazil, UAE, United States, is the whole human resource. Yeah. People with determination to find focus and grit to get throughout this thing. Man, is an athlete and athletes suffer. It's a lot of stuff going through there. Would be lovely to see an American painter, man, representing the country. Man, Nick, this is. Uh... It'd be interesting. We think very highly of ourselves, and we should put our money where our mouth is man. and see how good we are. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be in the UAE with us in yeah. this in this next year. I would love definitely. To experience it. Definitely. Um, we are doing Ask a Painter on a Thursday because I will be traveling a long time. <laughs> I, I, my flight leaves Sao Paulo tonight at about 11 p.m. Brazil time. I fly for about nine and a half hours. I'm in Atlanta, then I take another three hour flight back home. And at that point, uh, I will probably be a zombie. And I do not want to uh, commit to an Ask a Painter show then. And I also yeah. want to spend some time with my family, which I miss very much. So we're doing Ask a Painter now. And I thought, instead of sitting in the war room talking about the Brazil trip, why not do it in Ronnie's own town? Fishing boats are out. I just saw a monster snail crawl across the ground here. We're by a 500 yoke fort where people from Portugal first landed here. In I mean, this is it's pretty amazing. I'm going to shut up. Last words, Mr. Ronnie. Thank, thank you very much for your trust. Thank you very much. All of this started because we found we found a common grit, yeah. a common grit, yeah. and our family is lining up, our lifestyle, our lifestyle lining up, yeah. Yeah. our life purpose lining up, which is based on people, yeah. and um, this is more than special, more than special. You're in my hometown, you're in my place, you're yeah. in my people. You knew everything possible. You play, you, you felt the smell of my blood, and that is very special to me. It's an honor. I will record this and put in a tape of our over tape and I will pick up it maybe 10 different times for my all my generations make sure that they they saw what a painter from Bertioga experienced oh, just yeah. dreaming and over the social media we are making a great change. I agree and doing this really helps me appreciate everything that we do. There's there's in a lot of ways things are easier in the United States for most of us painters. In some ways they're harder. And when you come here, you realize that 
when all the specific government painting tools equipment business things yeah there's going to be differences in how everything works because it's out of our control but the most interesting thing that i took away from this whole thing and and you've been consistent through this whole thing we both dedicated our lives to developing humans yes uh, you in a, in, a, in a instruction capacity in a in a uh, world-class sort of uh, trade school and now a world skills team me and my own business um, but when we come here and we, we see what questions the painters ask about the United States and UAE, uh, they're all the same. Yes. It's all about the people. All about the people. It's, it's cool to see what different tools and techniques people use, but honestly, all the problems that I've experienced that painters complain about Brazil and the United States are exactly the same. Exactly the same. Which, disappointing because I wanted something like yes everything is easier we have no people problems here <laughs> like every we've solved all that yes, but awesome. honestly it's like no shit we deal with people right yes it's people so magically we all have the same we train people they leave uh, we're not making enough money a client gives us pro it's it's just people so very special sad that there's not something cool and weird and you guys solved all the problems but also very comforting to know that people are people everywhere and we are way more similar than we are alike everywhere we go <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I, I thought I have heard Palmeiras, but it's painters. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, all good one, man. You're my hey, partner. Listen, this I, is I, just I, the beginning of something huge that we yeah. are building by our hearts and a vision that... Well, this yeah. is it, man. Thank yeah, you so man. much for making part of my hometown, my people, my smell, my sensation. Thank you so much. This is meaningful, man. Uh, God, I, I, I wish every other painter in the United States could yes. come here and experience this. There's not enough Ronnie. Made enough time. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be great to it'd be great to have more of that. But please, people, uh, what a great lesson in you know not only other countries, other cultures, everything else, but this can this can be a painter in your hometown yes, <laughs> that you man. think is your enemy in your competition. It's ridiculous. It's uh, so awesome. Everything that happened to me good in the last five years professionally happened when we started collaborating. This is so, so awesome, man. So everybody, thank you. For Mr. Santos, uh, the man, uh, the person who made all this possible, uh, thank you everybody for watching. I'm about to go through zombie flights all the way back home, and I am going. No worse to, than me. No, no. no listen, man, the Ron, listen again. It makes you. It makes you respect this. I took 11 flights. Ronnie took about 19, and he flew from the United Arab Emirates. So again, when I complain, there's always somebody standing near you that's like, "Oh yeah, that's real cute. Your little problem." Right? I just, I just switched my psychology stuff because if I remember about this, I'm just about to die right now. It makes you tired thinking about it. So thank Tamo you, pessoal. I meet uh, you in the top. <laughs> awesome, man. Obrigado, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, that's this it. won't be the last time we're in Brazil. So. Awesome, man. Thank you. Great.